the Daily Express, I'm not a Daily Express reader. Um, nothing wrong, I guess, with Daily Express for people who like it, but I don't normally like it. Uh, but they did do uh, a list of the, uh, the 10 most iconic album covers of all time. And I'm going to read them out to you, Cam, and I want you to see what you think. So we'll, right, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll start at number 10 and, and then go to number one. Right. Okay, and this is okay. and and this is the order they've put them in, is it? This is the order they put them in. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do reverse order because we're going to start at ten. But yes, uh, according to the Daily Express, this is what the ten most iconic album covers are of all time. Okay. And, so, and do I and do and will I know all of them? No, uh, well, will you know all of them? Yes. Okay. Uh, so at number ten, we got Blink One Eight Two with Enema of the State. Uh, <laughs> I've not... heard I've heard of Blink One Eight Two. I've heard it. I've I heard think you recognise the cover. It's okay. uh, a lady and a nurse uh, with a with a glove. She's putting on like a glove okay. as though she's going to do a cavity search. And I think she's a porn star. Uh, okay. So it's all very tongue in cheek, sexual innuendos, all that kind of right. stuff. Well, en- enema of enema, the state. Enema, I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's it's it's. it's um, I never own the album, but um, okay. it's, it's a picture that I've seen. Yeah. Um we've got Gorillas Demon Days at number uh, nine. One of the great albums that is. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to say that that comes in my top ten all of all albums. Yeah, it's a good uh, album. Yeah, good album. But, yeah. Um, um at number eight, we got Beyonce, I am Sasha Fierce. I'm um, not a particular Beyonce no, fan. I did no. look up the I did look up the picture. Um yeah, no, it's, it's a it's a nice picture. Yeah. Um, I uh, but this is why there's so many different music genres. Um uh, and, and we, yeah. we basically are we, we basically cover a few of them, don't we? Um, yeah. But anyway, at number seven, we got Bruce Springsteen with Born in the USA. Yeah, classic. That's a classic, that's a classic yep. one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, at number six, Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. Yep. I can't picture the album cover for that. Yeah, but yes, she's kind I of know. sitting down, looking at the cover. Yeah, it's... Right, it's, it's, okay. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, Rumours. Yes, yeah, know that one, yeah. Okay. Um, number four, it's The Beatles. Now, can you guess which one it is? Which album um, it would be? Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, I think one. it'd be okay. Guess. It'd be a, well, yeah, it'd no, be a choice he, of two. Yeah, but you got to say one. But, okay, right. say one. I'll say what I, the two that I think it could be. No, out just of. say one. The one, one you think it is. Oh bloody! Okay, it's going to be Sergeant Pepper. It is Sergeant Pepper. Well done, well done. <laughs> Personally, I think Abbey Road. Well, I was going. That Abbey Road was yeah. the other one. I was. And that's say. why that I was only letting yeah. you. That's why I was only let you do one. And it's that's going to be one of those two. And in the end, the reason why I said uh, Sergeant Pepper was because of the the number of people that are on the front cover of that album. Um, yeah. You know, in, yeah, in that yeah. in that group, that was the only reason why. But Abbey Road yeah. was. I, but I Abbey Road for me would have been the, the one yeah. that I would have yeah. thought of. Um, uh, so that's number four. Yeah. Uh, so we got number three is David Bowie. And Aladdin, Aladdin Sane. Sane. Yeah. yeah, of course yeah. it is. I mean, <laughs> yeah. which one else is going to be? Yeah. And then number two. Yeah. Is Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Moon, yeah. I mean, I Classic thought that again. would be number one, to be honest. Yeah. So the one that knocked it off the top spot, and I'm quite pleased it's a good one. Nirvana, never mind. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I get that. Yeah. Um, I and think that, there were a few, uh, few ones that I might have considered a bit more. I mean, if they'd done a top twenty, I think I always like the Wings Band on the Run album cover. Yeah, That's classic. a good one. Um, I, I'm gonna well, Metallica, Master of Puppets, and you know, I'm yeah. I mean, there's some Metallica great one out. The Stones, Exile um, on Mixed Main Street, yeah, Sticky Fingers, Sticky Fingers had the, had the one with the with the, with the actual. It had a proper zip. You know, yeah. a, a real zip. You know, yeah, and so that you know, that's a great. I mean, there's been so there's many no Zeppelin good ones. in there either. So no, there the isn't. Zeppelin no, ones. I mean, really you know, cool. the, the the classic ones with it, with they yeah. had as well. But the thing is, it's it's one of those lists. I mean, yeah, you know, I get that list. We could all pick it to pieces. I guess yeah. the one that sticks out in there to me that I'm thinking. But then you could say well, it's an age thing. I don't know it. But wouldn't it be interesting to ask a lot of Beyonce people of of a certain age to say? Can you name me a Beyonce album? One, I bet you they wouldn't be able to name it, and yet they love Beyonce, right? Oh, because... well, I think that. No, right. hang on, hang on. I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Right, I, and I, I reckon. And... I th- I think that's that's not right because okay. Beyonce. I, I know what you're saying because of the single culture and people yeah. don't listen to albums, yeah. but Beyonce's been around for donkeys, so you know. No, no, I, but yeah, but it's not the that albums. Probably, albums they, were pretty big. When I don't know, I mean, they know every. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that know every every track on that album, but probably don't know the name of the album. And would oh, they know? But and would they know the image that's on the front cover of that album? Well, I, I think the Beyonce fans would. I mean, I just mentioned mm. Master of Puppets by Metallica, and they're not. Mm. <laughs> you know, there, there was a few people um, that probably wouldn't know that yeah uh, i'm not yeah i'm not convinced there i mean it came out crowd. 
Well, it came out in 2008 and albums were still a thing in 2008. Streaming wasn't really mm-hmm. at, at the pomp that it was that, that it is now. Um, albums are still a thing back then. Um, so no, I, 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 it's not an album I know much about. I mean, the, the, the album cover is a picture of Beyonce sort of, well, I'm guessing half naked. She's covering a, a, you know, the bits that need to be covered um, uh, with a with a beach background. It's a black and white image. I mean, it's it's a good picture, and I guess it was probably quite a breakthrough album for for her. Maybe uh, mm. I don't know much about Beyonce. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Though. I'm I'm looking at it now. I've, I've I've never come across it. Now people might say, "Oh, that's just because you're too old." Yeah, I um, but well, it might be. I, well, no, because. I, no, well, it could be. It could, it could be. be. I'm afraid it could be, Cam. It could. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who's saying, "How come Nirvana's number one? How can it beat Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon?" Because Dark course, Side yeah. is an iconic yeah. album, right? Uh, but it, we're just talking about the covers, though. We're not talking about the music, are we? No, we're I know. Yeah, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, and and again, I, I personally think Abbey Road over Sgt. Pepper's, but. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah. I would agree because, uh, yeah, I would agree. But you know, the 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 sort of uh, you know best albums, best bands, best whatever these lists yeah. that that happen and Channel Four here in the UK. I've not seen it for a while. How they, you know they do all these programs, don't they, with the the best of and everything? And I always take those really with a pinch of salt. I mean, yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody is not the greatest rock song of all time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, no, because it's not a rock song. It's opera, you know, it's a ballad, and it's heavy metal. It's all it, those things. That's why it, it's an amazing it song. It is. Yeah, it, it is an amazing song, yeah. Um, uh, you know, but it, but it's... yeah. Anyway, look, that goes into a whole different topic. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so... Yeah. We're, we're veering off. Now, while we're talking about this was obviously in the Daily Express, it was, it yeah. was a new story and everything... It does lead quite nicely into something that I wanted to talk about because I came across um, uh, a couple of articles and mm. that, that that made me think about this. And this article I found on BBC News going back a, a, f- a few weeks ago. And the article was headlined, Five Key Moments in the Crushing of Afghan Women's Rights. Right. And it talks about, you know, how things have changed in Afghanistan and how women are treated and really what rights they actually have. And as I was reading through the news story, sort of flicking through it, the imagery, which are really just snaps are Mm. very powerful, incredibly powerful. Uh, You know, we're, we're so used to seeing video content now, you know, that we, that, that it goes to show that the power of a still image is 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 huge it's you know it it can leave a lasting impression you know and when i was reading through this it, it made you know the the images that i stopped out they they you know they, they they're just something about them mm. that 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 makes you feel there's an uneasiness i would say there's an uneasiness yeah. uh, about these images um and and once you read the story, it goes well, obviously, with the story, you know, and it's very sad what's happening out there, you know, um, about how men, you know, uh, feel that they have the divine right and the divine power to to rule over women and to be able to, you know, uh, treat them as treat them the way that they do and, and to suppress what they're about, because. We wouldn't be the world wouldn't be you anywhere without men and women, you know. Who, yeah. you know. No, I agree with that. I, I think what I'd like to try and do is 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 try and because I agree with everything you said there. Obviously, mm. um, I, I want to try and avoid the politics of that kind of stuff. Really, and just talk about the imagery mm. um, because it. I know, I know, they kind of go intertwined. I mean, photojournalism, as, as I, I feel, it, it's especially with stills photography, probably isn't as um i don't know is is it as relevant as it was maybe 10 20 years ago because we have rolling news and things like that um you know do do, do people really i don't know digest these sort this sorts of imagery through still photography anymore is is that something they do as much yeah well the reason why the, the other reason why i wanted to i, I as i said I came, I came across this and i saved this story because i just thought oh I'll, I'll bring it up at some point but then two or three things happened this week that made me think, yes, this is the, the yeah, I do definitely want to mention this. We we mentioned recently, didn't we, the Indian 
um, Chandrayaan that was heading to the moon at the time, and they sent their first picture uh, of the moon, and we were saying how remarkable it was to see that picture. And since then, they have successfully landed. Yeah, Russia's Russia's mission to it crashed a few days before, and so and India was successful in reaching the South Pole. Mm. Now, at the moment, I've not seen anything that's come out from the rover that's going to be coming out of this. Uh, uh, this let's call it a spaceship because the word's gone yeah. out of my mind, right? This rocket, yeah. <laughs> and it's going to come down uh, down a ramp and it's going to move around for 14 days and it'd be really fantastic to see those images, okay? Yeah, yeah. And then um, going back, uh, you know, uh, very recently, of course, everything that's been going on in Russia and Ukraine, there was the the plane that went down, or the helicopter went down with I can't remember his name, Wagner or something. The, uh, the it was uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I, I, I can't remember. I think his it was name. Wagner, wasn't it? I think something no, like that. Well, Wagner was the um, that was was the the military group that yeah, he was right, head okay, off. right. Um, and okay. this just to get into, and I, I said I want to, uh, we'll just talk about the facts rather than the politics of it. Yeah, but, sure. Yeah. But basically, um, this chap who his name does escape me, um, he actually. Tr- almost um completed a military coup against mm. putin a few weeks ago yeah so a few weeks ago a couple of months ago now I think yeah that's was, right yeah when, yeah when um i mean and i know <laughs> when it was happening a lot of people were going yeah come on get mm. putin but um this guy is probably worse than putin i'm just gonna <laughs> just put that out there um because he, he's not a really nice guy but he's part he was the head of the wagner group um and he there, there was a deal wasn't there and it stopped him going to Moscow with mm. his um with his with his soldiers and um he was exiled to Belarus I think it was yeah something um, like that, yeah and now suddenly he's died in a plane crash with by the way another head uh, and founder of the Wagner group yeah um which is obviously suspicious as hell but um... yeah. so <laughs> and and then the reason why I wanted to mention this was because th- these are new stories that suddenly were were breaking news the 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 you know we know about the afghan women rights you know, we you know we do see news stories on that, and if you flick through some of the channels, some of the news channels, you get CNN, you get Al Jazeera, which are great channels to watch. Yeah, you do see, particularly on Al Jazeera, you get some incredible documentaries on those, mm. and they highlight in uh, you know areas that, that are sort of wider than than say Europe, the news that we we get here. But then when you mm. but when you see the imagery of this, and then when I saw the images that were came came back from Chandran. Or of or, or of Chandran, it's I've not seen as I said the rover images yet. Yeah, and then you know, and then the, this happened in Russia, and the breaking news, and you see these, and you and we initially see videos, but then when you see some of the stills, and then there was a third story as well, and that was those people in Pakistan that were stuck on the cable lift. Yeah, and yesterday they re- released some drone footage, and then they and they showed some stills, and these pictures are incredibly dramatic. Mm. I mean, those mount uh, th- th- those. Those hills and everything, the landscape there in Pakistan looked absolutely beautiful, and and you see the beauty of the land, but you see how dangerous it was. What yeah. was very interesting, I noticed that those those people in there were going to school, I think, and it was a four minute cable car ride. And had that's they a commute, driven, isn't it? Yeah, and if they're driven by car, I think it takes two and a half hours, Whoa. and that's why they use it. So it's yeah, their of course, school run. But. The image, the imagery that came back, and I'm not talking about video content. I'm talking about the stills. They were very, very striking. And I think my whole point about this is that w- w- the, these photographers, these photojournalists, they are recognised around the world. They, they, there are regular awards, and and and, and you, you get these around the world, the best news stories and everything. But I think it's very easy for us, as just as photographers, and I'm talking about people that are, that, that put out these rewards, to overlook. The, uh, overlook some of this imagery and to see how what's actually been captured by the photographers and how well they've captured these and how dramatic they actually look it's very mm. easy for people to say oh yeah but they were lucky because they're out there anyway and they and and that, so they they're obviously going to get pictures like that you know mm. you know but but the but that's not what it's about, you know. Regardless of that, they are they they may well be there, but they're capturing things and they know what they're doing in that instant as well. And I think that when we do watch a lot lot of video content, more and more and more of us are is is not to overlook the fact that a lot of these people that are out there, not just video filming and and looking at the film content, but the photographers that are out there risking their lives as they have done for years, you know, as they have done for years, put themselves in 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 these situations. But I think it's a nod to these people 
to be yeah no i i under, i understand i understand that i think because i mean i was looking at uh, uh it's actually quite an old story in the independent about um uh, a, a photographer in ukraine called alina smutko and um you know before the war she you know her work focused on politics sport and you know social justice so she was reasonably politically um sort of involved but obviously events have basically changed it now she's now taken on the role as, as war photographer and the thing she has to do i mean according to well, she she has to be there she, she has to take these photos and one of her photos was the um uh, i think we all saw it um when i think it was last year wasn't it when when the russians um attacked um a hospital and they yeah. had that picture of the pregnant woman coming out of yeah. the hospital on the stretch well, that was her that was her photo right uh, incredibly powerful photo um and the russian embassy came out with uh no no she, this 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 person's an actor um uh, there was a military base it wasn't a hospital and so not only does she have to be there you know the risks that she is, she's also now facing something on a different front that maybe the likes of Don McCullen never had to worry about, you know, um, you know, that the social media and the, the big propaganda sort of machine that is against her. I mean, you know, the, the Russian embassy basically said, no, this, this isn't real. This isn't real. This is fake. You know, that I've, I've got a, uh, I can see their, their post now and it's just got the, her photos on there and she's got fake written across it. You know, mm. this is the, this is out of the Donald, Donald Trump playbook, isn't it? You know, the fake news thing. Mm. Um, so not only is it difficult for her in that respect, but also the other thing is it's very difficult to sort of, I guess with, with there's so many cameras around these days as well. I mean, every Ukrainian, I'm sure, well, not every Ukrainian, but I'd say 90% plus of Ukrainians probably have a smartphone of some description, which have cameras on. And, you know, so therefore you've got a camera in every household, on every street, in every city. Um, so the saturation of this type of imagery, if you're in that place, will, 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 will be incredible. So I, I do wonder with with that with smartphones um and also with things like rolling news that we have now you know we we digest our news generally like you said al jazeera or bbc news mm. or sky news or itv news or you know channel 4 whatever um you know they, they it's, it's all video it's all correspondence on there um and they have video footage do you think the stills photographer, and I mentioned this like five minutes ago, do you think the stills war photographer um, or photojournalism, do you think that is as relevant as it was back in, I don't know, the 70s, 80s, um, when, you know, uh, you, you, you didn't you didn't have rolling news then you know you had maybe two or three editions of the same newspaper during the day with updates of what was going mm. on. Um I think and... I think it is, and I, t and I t that's a really good point actually, because I think history will tell us that as we look as we go into the future, I think we'll probably look back at imagery stills rather mm. than look, going back to look through video content. Yeah. So if we if we want to research something, that. we're yeah. we're going to be looking at the stills of those, and that's why I think it's really still so relevant. And I mean, yeah. there was another picture I've sort of laughed a little bit about it that's been recently issued in the news of course is donald trump's mugshot that he oh, yeah, had taken in georgia okay yeah. now <laughs> make of it what you will but that's that that is going to be a very historic image you know now yeah. we're not talking about whether you agree with trump whether you like him or whether you don't and whatever i'm just saying that is going to go down in in history that image that mugshot and mm. so so stills are incredibly relevant because we will be going back and looking at those over and over again. That's what we're going to be looking but at. But do you think there's going to be someone? I mean, we did have some very famous um, war photographers, didn't mm. we? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I mentioned Don McCullen. Um, but you know, are we going to get people like that again who is as revered? Because there was less of them back then, or there was less. It, it, it wasn't as easy to get your work out there as it is now. You know, you just need to have a smartphone. If you're in an area where something's happened, take a load of pictures, stuck them online. Hmm. Um, you know, that becomes then part of that cachet of of imagery of that event. I, I think within... what happened. And there's going to be millions of these photos now. Hmm. Whereas within... back then, not so much. So does that make the imagery 
and, and it's, um, I want to be careful the way I'm saying this because obviously a lot of this imagery is stuff about you know desperation and and mm. you know it, it's it's not it's not a uh, it's not something that's uh, particularly you know frivolous or or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But some of these Don McCullen pictures, and, and it's not just Don McCullen. You know, there was that I've forgotten who shot it. Now the picture with the boy in the hand grenade. Oh, that wasn't um, Sebastian Salgado, was it? I can't remember. It may have been. I can't remember yeah. who it was. Yeah, um, it, I, it wasn't Don McCullen, but it was that no. boy in the hand grenade. Um, you know, these are pictures that are not revered is the wrong words, but that they're, they're, they're they're important parts mm. of history, right? Because there wasn't not just because of the actual picture, which is incredibly powerful, but because of the lack of other pictures, mm. you know? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there is saturation. I think those photographers will be named and w- by the relevant sort of the, the people relevant to that industry more mm. so than the wider yeah. thing, because these days it's go- it all goes in as under Getty images, doesn't it? Or whatever. Oh, agents yeah. and all of that. Okay. Reuters or something. Yeah. Like Reuters. That. Okay. Yeah. So, so things will get lost within names of agencies, you know, and I think that's, yeah. that's what will happen. But within the industry, I think those photographers are going to be well known and, yeah. and big and rather than sort of the wider public as such, but I want to finish off. I Martin. guess your voice is, is, it's 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 diff- more difficult for your voice to be heard, I guess, to be separate from all the other voices through your it imagery. Is, yeah. I, I I I feel. I mean, I think this generally about photography. Anyway, there's there's um, and I know you wanted to sort of sort of finish up, but there was this other. Uh, this is um, I I live in Coventry, and um, there's this um facebook page that i look at is called the coventry we used to know now i'm not native to coventry so um i I just look at it out of interest rather than nostalgia but um you know you see all these old pictures of places in coventry um that would have been taken on film um and they're special now i wonder in like 50 years time are those pictures going to be as special i think we spoke about this a little bit a couple of pods ago didn't we Mm. are those pictures going to be as special in 50 years time from the sorry from the photos that we're taking now because there's so many there's so many photos now so it's not like a peek into the past it's like you're a (laughs) deluged by pictures from the past do you know what i mean and it almost becomes less special and more throwaway Mm. i think only i think only time will tell there won't it i I guess i think and i wonder if that is the same with with this sort of photography the the photojournalism Mm. Yeah. And just before we do break off for a drink, uh, Mark, I just want to just read the last two paragraphs in the BBC story about the Afghan women, just to sort of put it into context about what it is, because, you know, we were saying we don't want to get into the politics of things and we're not here. I'm simply reading out word for word what's in this article. And then we'll break for a drink. It says, and every once in a while, despite the very grave risk of detention and violence, groups of Afghan women continue to march on the streets, raising their voices. One of them told us, we are not the same women the Taliban suppressed 20 years ago. We have changed and they will have to accept it, even if we have to give up our lives for it. 